Hi, I'm Myra Ferguson for Jar Productions, and in this video, I'd like to show you how to zoom into content using the N5 Image Sequence Interactive Widget. There are a variety of ways that you can use N5 to zoom into content. Here's an example of an image sequence in a multi-state object, or MSO, to zoom into a location on a map. When I click on one of the buildings, I see an enlarged version of the building. When I click it again, it goes away. Let's take a look at how to set this up. Here's the document with an image of the map. I'd recommend starting with an image that has a high resolution or is vector-based so that enlarging the content doesn't cause pixelation. When I click on the content grabber, you can see that it's been scaled down to 37%. I've also made a rectangle over the building that's large enough to accommodate a zoomed-in version. These dimensions are what I use to make the image sequence in another application. I used After Effects, but you can use whichever software you prefer to create the images for the sequence. Let's jump over to After Effects. I've placed the image in a 15-frame composition at the same scale that it is in the InDesign document. I keyframed the scale and added a stroke so that when the image sequence plays, there's a dividing line between the zoomed-in portion and the rest of the image. Then I exported it as a PNG sequence. Let's go back to InDesign. With the rectangle selected, I'll go to N5 Interactive Widgets Image Sequence. When I click on the button with the three dots, I can navigate to the folder that contains this image sequence and click OK. In the Image Sequence dialog, I'll select Show First Frame Initially to help me align the first image with the background. I'll select Autoplay so that the image sequence will automatically play the whole sequence when it's time. I'm not going to use either tap to play pause or swipe to change image because I want the whole animation to play at once. Now that I have the image sequence, I want to set it up so that it only plays if I click on the building. It should also be hidden until I click on the building. An MSO and a button work great in this situation. First, I'll make the MSO. I'll select the rectangle that contains the image sequence, go to Window, Interactive, Object States, and click on the plus button to convert the selection to a multi-state object. InDesign duplicates this rectangle because it's the only object I have selected, and an MSO needs to have at least two states. For that hidden first state, I'll go to the Object States panel menu and add an empty state. Now that there are three object states, I can delete state two that contains a duplicate. For the button that will show the image sequence, I'll make an invisible rectangle, one with no stroke and no fill, over the building. I'll go to Window, Interactive, Buttons and Forms to add a Go to Next State action. Using Go to Next State with an MSO that only has two states means that the button will work like a toggle to either show the content or hide it. Now let's save and export. Here's the image. When I click on the building, the image sequence plays. And when I click on it again, it gets hidden. At this point, I could finish the document by going through the same process for the other buildings and adding some instructions for users. Please share with us in the comments how you might use an image sequence to zoom into the content that you create with InDesign and N5. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and be sure to check out N5 at n5.us. Thanks so much for watching.